Hey guys, welcome to part six. And in this video, we're going to look at adding some materials. So first of all, I'm going to select the diamond, go to the materials tab and click new. You can then give the material a name and we'll start by editing the base color. So we'll go for a light blue and then we can scroll down the list of properties and we can adjust the metallic. We can also adjust things like the roughness, which essentially is how reflective the surface is. And you can see this is now starting to look a little bit more interesting. Next, I'm going to select the plane and create another new material. I'm going to select a darker base color and you can now see the reflection of the diamond in the plane. And we can now go and adjust all of these properties in real time until we get something we're happy with. And if we switch back to the render properties tab, you can turn off and on different settings and see how much of a difference they make. We can also switch over to cycles just to see how it looks. And there are some differences with these two render engines, one of which being that cycles can handle glass much better. So with the diamond selected, I can bring the transmission all the way up and then bring the roughness and the metallic down. And that's a really quick way to create glass using cycles. Looks pretty cool. And you can see if we do switch back over to EV, Unfortunately, this is just one of those times where it doesn't look as good. Now let's switch over to the shading workspace and we'll turn on rendered preview. Now by default, this workspace has two main sections. We have the viewport at the top and the node editor at the bottom. Nodes are incredibly powerful and enable a huge degree of customization within your scene. They're also very complicated and can be intimidating to beginners, but trust me, they start to make a lot more sense after a bit of practice. So the principled BSDF that we start with here is basically another way of viewing all of the different properties for the material we created for the diamond. And we can change these properties just as we did from the materials tab. So let's just add one node as an example. Press Shift A and we'll do a search for color ramp. Click on it and then move this to the left and then click the yellow color connector and drag this to the base color. Now a color ramp is basically a gradient so you can click on the black and white swatches and then pick two different colors of your choice and these both plug into the base color. You can also mute the selected node with M on the keyboard to hide the effect. And you can see that the diamond is now sporting a bluey purpley effect. And that wraps up part six. And in the next video, we're going to look at adding cameras. So if you enjoyed this one, hey, why not subscribe for more, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in part seven.